So let's generate a report. You click a button and you go to your own online account that holds all the information about past reports and a button to generate a new report. So let's do that. I'm assuming that I just completed a home inspection in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm going to generate, I'm in my office writing the home inspection report, and I'm going to also generate a home energy report for my client based upon the information that I've already gathered during my home inspection. So a zip code for Detroit, and I click start report. That's the first thing you enter is the zip code of the property you inspected. That zip code is sent to that energy calculator of the U.S. Department of Energy, and it crunches some data based upon the climate of that house. You enter your customer information, Mary, and her email, because we're going to email her the report, and the property address. Let's say it's 123 Main Street in Detroit, Michigan, Residents. These are the people that are moving in to the house who want to, who are going to be using the report. And it's not based upon the current homeowners or the sellers of the property and their utility bills. It's really based upon um, my clients that are moving into the house and their age because um, people of different ages use energy differently. So my client has, um, there are three children in this house and two adults, um, the software defaults the utilities costs. So you don't have to enter that unless you know some um, specific details that make your ac report more accurate. Um, the house front is facing south. There are two stories above the ground, eight foot ceilings. The conditioned area is 2,500 square feet. It has an unconditioned basement, unconditioned attic lighting. There are approximately 100 light bulbs in the home, and none of them are high efficiency. There's no insulation on the floor between the basement and the uh, finished first floor. Um, the attic insulation is very low. It's only three inches. Um, the wall insulation is an R11, 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 R11. Uh, air tightness. It's not airtight. It hasn't gone through any home energy upgrades from some home performance contractor. No one has sealed it up, uh, put, put insulation and in sealing um, um, the attic space or the um, new windows or anything like that. So um, it is not airtight. Um, if I had an energy auditor next to me and they had a uh, blower door and they did the CFM 50, you could enter that information but it's optional. Um, if it had skylights, you enter the square footage of the skylights and the type of windows. So we have double pane clear vinyl windows. We entered that window information. I'll just go a little bit faster. Um, clothes washer, yes, it has a clothes washer. It's not Energy Star. Um, it's a gas dryer, has one refrigerator, no freezers. It has a water heater and it was relatively new year 2000, and it's a 50 gallon gas hot water tank. Um, thermostat is standard. It's a central gas thermostat. It was purchased. I picked up the date from the MLS, had some information. It's 1995. Um, there is no wood burning stove. Um, there's a central air conditioner. It was built in 1995 as well. Um, the duct insulation is in the um, unconditioned basement. They are not fully insulated. They are not sealed. Um, there is no pool, no spa, no hot tub, and you click that report to generate a report. Now, you sent all that information, which I gathered during a regular home inspection. I entered it into the software in just a few minutes. I clicked a button to generate the report. You don't generate the report. Um, we do it for you through the software, and then you send this web-based report to your client using um, the URL, and you can 
stick that into your email or your home, home inspection report. And this is the longest period of time. Um, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to generate the report. The energy calculator uh, at the U.S. Department of Energy's laboratory is crunching that data you just sent in and spacing it upon. Um, it's also um, adding the uh, utility bills and estimates and cost estimates for you. And there's a big button there to view your report and get the link. Before you send the report to your client, once you view the report, and here it is. It takes a little bit of time to load up. And it's a nice report. It's dynamically active. It engages your client. It has some graphics there. So there's some heating costs and cooling costs and some other costs. Um, this is a way for your client to be educated about how much energy is going to be used after they move in. And it also provides some um, energy upgrade recommendations. So let me expand this window so you can see the report. It comes with some videos. That's why it's web-based. Um, you are promoted and your company is promoted in every report. Here's some um, basic data, costs, totals after upgrades, and here's the number that I like to share with my clients, the potential energy savings, a couple grand a year if they follow the recommendations that are produced by the report, which come from the Department of Energy. You click through the report, lighting, some information, some more videos, and some energy upgrade recommendations, and they're prioritized based upon um, return on investment. So the first one is about lighting, replacing the incandescent, inefficient light bulbs with CFLs or LEDs. Programmable thermostat is recommended. That's an easy fix. Then it talks about insulation around the ductwork, having a professional seal the air leakage in the home, and seal the ducts in the home so that they don't bleed energy. And if, they, if the clothes washer needs to be replaced by an Energy Star um, energy efficiency um, appliance. And it goes on and on with recommendations that come from the U.S. Department of Energy. Here's one, add insulation to the attic floor, because remember, um, there was very little insulation in that attic space that we saw. And also, it has an energy book. So there's the energy book that comes with the report itself. It's an ebook with much more information, many, many chapters of information. And so to send your report to your client, you simply copy paste this URL and stick it in an email or your home inspection report. Now let's go back and talk about that free marketing and training. So here's the tr free training. If you want to take some additional optional training, we have some. We have six courses, house as a system, energy movement, comfort and climate, indoor air quality, um, energy um, envelope calculations, and HVAC energy efficiency. And also we have marketing. So you click that marketing button. And we have a few things that you can use to help you promote and market your services. Uh, we have a few logos, the Home Energy Inspector logo, Energy Saving Specialist, and Home Energy Report logos. They're all trademarked. We have free marketing cards and free brochures that our Inter Inspector Marketing Department developed. You can order those. Those are free, and you can customize them as well. They help you promote these services. And we have a video on how to um, tweak your website in order to help you promote your home energy report and a few other things. So again, this was a quick tutorial on using the home energy report. My name is Ben Gramico from Internachi, and there is the main URL to access information, everything you need to produce a home energy report for your client. Thanks.